Welcome to our science and technology briefing program. Today, we have some exciting news from the world of science and technology. Chinese scientists have made a groundbreaking achievement by successfully testing the world's first oblique detonation engine powered by standard aviation kerosene. This innovative engine operates at incredible speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 16, showcasing combustion rates that are 1,000 times faster than traditional scramjets. This advancement could revolutionize air and space travel, although there are still challenges to overcome. In another update, Premier Li Chang is making waves in the tech sector by urging China's state-owned telecom giants to ramp up their research and innovation efforts. During his visits to major telecom companies, he emphasized the importance of advancements in artificial intelligence to drive digital transformation and support small businesses. This push comes alongside significant investments in AI and cloud infrastructure, indicating a strong commitment to enhancing China's technological capabilities. Lastly, we turn our attention to Indonesia, where nationwide student protests have erupted against austerity measures implemented by President Prabowo Subianto's administration. Dubbed the Indonesia Jalap movement, thousands of students are voicing their frustrations over budget cuts to education and infrastructure. The protests have escalated into violence, raising concerns about potential social unrest. As the situation unfolds, we will keep you updated on how these events develop. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. South China Morning Post reports that Chinese scientists have achieved a significant breakthrough in hypersonic propulsion with the successful testing of the world's first oblique detonation engine, ODE, powered by standard aviation kerosene, RP-3. Conducted in Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel, the tests demonstrated combustion rates that are 1,000 times faster than traditional scramjets, with operational capabilities between Mach 6 and Mach 16. The ODE's innovative design, which utilizes shock waves to create self-sustaining explosions, allows for a combustor that is 85% shorter than scramjet designs, potentially leading to lighter aircraft and extended flight ranges. This advancement is part of China's ambitious plan to develop a hypersonic aircraft by 2030, which could revolutionize air travel and military technology. In another report, South China Morning Post highlights Premier Li Chang's push for innovation within state-owned telecom companies as a means to drive economic growth and self-reliance. During his visits to major telecom providers, Li emphasized the need for accelerated research and development, particularly in artificial intelligence, to enhance China's technological capabilities. This call for innovation aligns with President Xi Jinping's recent remarks urging entrepreneurs to contribute to tech advancements. As AI adoption surges among China's key infrastructure services, companies like Alibaba are committing substantial investments to bolster their cloud computing and AI infrastructure. KPMG's positive outlook for China's economy in early 2025 further underscores the potential for recovery driven by technological innovation. The South China Morning Post also reports on the rising student-led protests in Indonesia against President Prabowo Subianto's austerity measures, which have sparked significant public discontent. Dubbed the Dark Indonesia protests, these demonstrations reflect frustrations over budget cuts to education and infrastructure intended to fund Prabowo's flagship initiatives. As thousands of students rallied in cities across the country, tensions escalated, leading to clashes with police. The protests are viewed as a critical test for Prabowo's leadership, with demands for a review of his budget decisions and greater support for education. Analysts warned that if economic conditions worsen, public discontent could grow potentially leading to a broader political challenge for the administration. Reuters Breaking Views discusses the challenges China faces in harnessing the full potential of artificial intelligence, AI. Despite the impressive innovations from companies like DeepSeek, which has developed AI models that rival Western counterparts at a lower cost, achieving widespread benefits for China's massive economy remains a struggle. President Xi Jinping's ambitions to position China as a global AI leader by 2030 are hindered by both external competition from the United States and internal limitations, such as the need for extensive infrastructure investment and the Communist Party's strict control over technology deployment. The article highlights a potential diffusion deficit, where even with a large pool of engineers, the lack of effective integration of AI across industries could stifle progress, reminiscent of Japan's technological stagnation in the late 20th century. South China Morning Post reports on a significant collaboration between Alibaba's CEO Eddie Wu and Chongqing's party secretary Yuan Jiejun to advance AI initiatives. During their meeting, they discussed the potential for cooperation in AI model applications and the development of computing facilities, following Alibaba's announcement of a groundbreaking $52 billion investment in cloud computing and AI infrastructure. 
This investment is the largest from a single private business in China and signals Alibaba's commitment to enhancing its AI capabilities, particularly as it prepares to launch its new QWQMAX reasoning model. The partnership aims to leverage Chongqing's potential for AI development, with local governments eager to integrate advanced AI models into everyday operations, inspired by the success of DeepSeek's innovative technologies. BBC highlights the University of Surrey's successful fundraising campaign, which has raised over £70 million to support research and assist students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Launched by the Duke of Kent, the initiative has provided scholarships and financial aid to hundreds of students facing personal hardships, addressing the rising costs of education. The campaign not only facilitates student support but also funds groundbreaking research, including projects on the origins of life and AI sign language translation models for the deaf community. Professor Jim Al-Khalili emphasizes the importance of stable funding for transformative research, while the initiative also aims to use satellite technology and AI for biodiversity conservation efforts in the Surrey Hills, demonstrating the university's commitment to making a positive impact on society. Yahoo US reports on the electrifying potential of Travis Hunter at this year's NFL Combine, where he has become a hot topic of discussion among football enthusiasts. Hunter stands out as a remarkable talent, capable of excelling as both a wide receiver and a cornerback. During a recent episode of Football 301, hosts Nate Tice and Matt Harmon highlighted Hunter's receiving prowess, comparing his skills to a prime Odell Beckham, showcasing his ability to create separation and make contested catches. On the flip side, Charles McDonald advocates for Hunter's future as a cornerback, emphasizing his instant impact and athleticism that could transform any defense. The dilemma for NFL teams is whether to develop him as a dual-threat player or focus on one position, making Hunter's journey a captivating one to follow as draft day approaches. In a contrasting financial landscape, the Associated Press reports on mixed outcomes in Asian shares, particularly as Chinese markets rebounded following declines on Wall Street. The Hang Seng Index surged by 2.5%, driven by technology firms like Meituan and Alibaba, which saw significant gains amid renewed government support for the private sector. Meanwhile, Wall Street experienced a downturn, with the S&P 500 and Nasdaq composite both falling due to rising inflation concerns and a decline in consumer confidence. Notably, Nvidia's upcoming earnings report has investors on edge, as competition in the AI sector heats up. As economic indicators suggest a potential shift toward recession, the market's volatility reflects the cautious sentiment among investors navigating this uncertain terrain, highlighting the delicate balance of optimism and pessimism in the current economic climate. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.
to know Never stopping, always go Scrolling, swiping, reading all Daylight breaks in the dark Headlines and headlines can't get enough 